National Hispanic Heritage Month is annually celebrated from September 15th to October 15th in the United States for recognizing the contributions and influence of Hispanic Americans to the history, culture, and achievements of the United States. This observation originally started in 1968 as a week-long event under the LBJ administration. It was expanded to a month in 1988 by Ronald Reagan. Throughout our nation's history, names such as Jennifer Lopez, Sonia Sotomayor, and the late Selena Quintanilla all have made a lasting impact on American culture. But few Latinas have ever achieved more than a young woman from Southern California. I'm Ellen Ochoa. I spent 30 years at NASA. Uh, I was an astronaut, went into space four times, and also later became the director of Johnson Space Center. Born in Los Angeles to Mexican-American parents from an early age, Ellen's academic career skyrocketed. Going through college in the late 1970s and early 80s at San Diego State and later Stanford University, her journey personified the American dream. It was a fortuitous sequence of events that unfolded during that time, which gave birth to her dream of breaking barriers. When I was in graduate school uh, is when the space shuttle flew for the first time, very different kind of spacecraft, and it was going to be used for a lot of different things, but a lot of that was going to be um, scientific research and technology development and demonstration. A couple years later is when Sally Ride flew, 1983, first American woman in space, so that was a huge milestone. So not only was she a woman, but she had been a physics major, which is what I had majored in. Uh, she'd gone to Stanford, which is where at that time I was currently in the middle of getting my PhD. And so I, I think I really needed to see all of those things in common for me to think about maybe that was something that I could do. Long before the general public was aware of global warming, Ellen was on the front lines, studying a concerning problem that could only fully be understood from space. Three years after I was selected as an astronaut is when I flew into space for the first time. Um, of course, uh, that in itself was hugely exciting and we had a mission where we were studying the Earth's atmosphere and particularly the problem of the ozone hole and ozone depletion. So it was really kind of exactly why I got interested in going into space where you could do research that you couldn't do on the surface of the Earth and um, you know, bring those benefits back to people on Earth trying to understand um, what was going on. Her exemplary work led to promotions that included a five-year stint as the director of the Johnson Space Center and schools that bear her name have risen in her home state of California, Texas, and Oklahoma. Over the years, she has encouraged and inspired a new generation to reach for the stars. But after I got back from that mission, I did have a lot of um, opportunities then to go around and speak at schools. And particularly, I was invited to schools that had a high Hispanic population because they hadn't seen people like me uh, go into space, and in fact, just not a whole lot um, of Latinas in uh, science and engineering at that time. And generally, that wasn't something that students heard about. Now retired and living in Idaho, Ellen Ochoa is enjoying time with her family and still keeps a close eye on the industry that she gave so much to. I had such a, a more amazing career than I ever could have imagined, you know. Um, so I was so excited to be selected as an astronaut, but no guarantee that you'll ever actually fly. I should just say that I've also had huge support from my husband the whole time. Uh, you know, he's been there from the beginning of my astronaut career. And we've had the opportunity to raise two boys during that time as well. So it was uh, great to be able to have a family and to have a career and be able to encourage Hispanic kids all around the country. So it's been a very full career. 